It's been a very long time. Oh, am I gonna start crying? <sighs> Hold on a second. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, fair lifers. It's your girl Tiana here. If you're new to my channel, welcome. If you're returning viewer, welcome back. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button to become part of the family here. Y'all, today is Saturday. Yay! We love Saturday. It is 8.06 a.m. And I am fully dressed, fully up, fully alert, fully aware, ready to go. So today is Saturday. It is, uh, what even is the date? September 30th, I, I want to say. September 30th. And I am headed out to Saturday school. And I even said I did not want to teach Saturday school this year. Let me be honest. I've said that for the last two years. And somehow... I'm still teaching Saturday school. It's all good though. The extra money is definitely worth it and definitely needed around this time of year at the end of the, like, you know, when we start approaching the end of the year, Christmas time, whatever. So I'm headed out. I am bringing another bag because after Saturday school, I need to race, change my clothes, and head to um, a women's conference. So y'all know my friend Tamia. She invited uh, me and another friend to a women's conference at her church. It was Thursday. Oh my God, my battery is already dying what in the world friday and today couldn't go thursday it was during the day obviously i have to work last it was last night at 7 30 um they had miranda curtis there so she sang and then tasha cobb leonard who i love with my whole heart um she was a speaker so it was really great like it was a really great service it was really great to be in there again with friends it's been a very long time oh am i gonna start crying <sighs> hold on a second because this makeup has to last me all day. I'm not bringing any makeup. That's probably really dangerous. Let me bring something. Oh my gosh. Let me bring something. But it was definitely a really good experience to be in the church house again. Because as y'all, well, maybe y'all don't know. But if you follow me on Instagram, I feel like you should know. I always stream church um, on Sundays. The church I was going to when I was in college in Florida. I really, really, really like them. And I just haven't found a church here that I like, but I, I've been, I've been wanting one. I was gonna say I've been looking, but that would have been a lie. I've been wanting a church here. So I usually stream church, but it was definitely good to one, be in a church house again, cause it's been honestly years besides a funeral, but you know, that's for a funeral, but, but to receive the word, it's been, why am I even in my room? I don't think I need to come in here. It's been a minute since I have received the word inside of a church house. So it felt really good to be inside of a church house again last night. So there is another church up close, pretty close to me um, that I'm interested in going to, to going to. So I think I'm going to go there tomorrow. Um, I did some research. I told one of my other friends about it and he was like, yeah, I've heard of that church. He doesn't even live in Atlanta. Like he doesn't even live here. So um, I'm excited about that. I really want to go to that. And um, because it's so close to me and it seems like a really good church. If I like that vibe, then I'm going to really try to make it my best effort every Sunday to go to that church. They have three services, 845, 1030, and 1230. So I'm going to try to plan for the 1030 one. And then if anything, I I did like being inside of Tamiya and Barrett's church. It's just really far, like really far. Um, so I, I would like, I would appreciate something a little bit closer. So um, yeah, that's really it. And then we do have to do all the Saturday and Sunday, regular Saturday and Sunday things. Like, we do need to go grocery shopping today. I have I have nothing. I've got nothing. But I hope and a prayer. Okay, the conference today ends at 3, so that gives me plenty of time to do what I need to. And then tomorrow, oh, so I, I can get all that stuff done. Tomorrow, church, and then I do need to film some content. And I really got to get this content done because the brand has already messaged me twice about it. And, ooh. So yeah, this is a fit for Saturday school. I just put on this oversized shirt that I love, got from TJ Maxx last year. Some leggings that are a little bit too thick because it's actually not cold out. This jean jacket, or jean shirt, because I have leggings on, and my booty hanging out at school, and then I just have on my Steve Madden she and dupes. So let's head out so we can get to Saturday school, teach the kiddos for two hours, change our clothes, get to the conference, and have a fantastic Saturday. Can y'all even see me? Sorry, sorry person behind me. So we left Saturday school. It is 11, like 30-ish. Actually, I really don't know what time it is. 11.36-ish. And I'm headed to back to 
the church for the technically the last day of the conference. I should get there at 12.02. Um, my school is for sure like an hour away from the church, so that's why it's taking me a little minute. And this part of the highway is like the absolute worst, so of course, it's nothing but traffic. I know to me it's already there. So I'll text when I get there and um, see which which session she's sitting in on. There was one in particular I really wanted to go to, but I think it might have been like the first session. I'm really hoping it wasn't the very first session because I really want to go to that session. Um, but if it is, you know, it's okay. I, they all were titled really great. So that's what we're doing. We're heading out. I changed into my outfit. I'll show you guys um, later. I'll take a picture of whatever. I will also insert some clips from yesterday. my gosh all my batteries are dead okay y'all so it is still saturday it's like a little bit after four o'clock and i didn't let me show you what i'm wearing first of all because i'm cute this is the outfit i had on some tan sneakers also so it was giving very much just cute saturday errand running day whatever my battery's about to die i thought my other battery was charged it actually wasn't so that's annoying the conference so I when I was like 15 minutes away Tamia texted me and was like hey the last speaker finished so they're about to do a worship session and then let people kind of like Q&A with the speakers blah 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 I said okay um, I'm 10 minutes away I was a little disappointed because I was excited um, but it's okay you know things happen and I did have other prior obligations I had to be at Saturday school so when I got there to the parking lot I could see people leaving because I was like well a worship session like that'll be long enough time like I'm only 10 minutes away but there are people leaving <laughs> so I was like well I'm just gonna go I don't hold on not like everybody at once but people trickling out so I was just like it is what it is um, there's always another conference I could attend blah 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 so I ended up coming home, going to the grocery store because I needed groceries. Y'all, I spent $185 groceries for one. And that's after the discounts and coupons. My total came to like $215-ish or whatever. But I got a lot of stuff. I got a lot of stuff. <laughs> a lot of stuff. So I will not need to grocery shop heavy, heavy for some time. So right now I want to make some soup. And I'm like, no, I don't know what I'm doing. But... We're gonna try so I've had this soup mix for probably longer than I should probably tell you guys longer than I should admit um, but I, I mean, it doesn't go bad till December 31st so I'm fine with eating it it's got it's natural soup mix a five blend it doesn't even say what the what the stuff is here we go pearl barley green split peas yellow split peas green lentils and red lentils there's our five things so I'm going to use this, and I also have these wontons, leftover wontons from my club meeting two weeks ago. So I'm going to do like a wonton style soup. It says you can add like noodles, and I have broth. Let me see if I have chicken broth. Oh, I have a veggie broth, so that's even better. When does this go bad? Oh, I should need to hurry up this. Um, a veggie broth. So it says you can add noodles. I don't have any ramen style noodles and I don't have any skate. I actually don't have any noodles. The only noodles I have are these right here. And I don't know that I really want to put these in there. I will. I have kava tapi noodles. We'll put a little bit of kava tapi, kava tapi noodles. So I'm going to make this soup and we'll see how it goes. I don't have any of the style noodles. So that is the noodle that we're going to have to noodle with. Um, and yeah, all of my charges are dead. 
I mean, all my batteries are dead, so I have two charging right now, and this one is like literally on its last leg. So let's get to cooking before all my batteries die and we have nothing to give you content with. <laughs> meal prep containers um literally this morning <laughs> and they came in on amazon from amazon today you know sometimes amazon amazon certain things are same day shipping so here they are let's look i think it's 10 five smaller and five larger glass meal prep containers because you know glass containers are much better much healthier for your body they can be kind of pricey so let's see. Okay, these are a good size. I was nervous it'd be kind of small. So there's five sets. So I'm going to only unwrap one. There's literally, there's five. Here's four and then the one I just showed you. I'm so excited for this. So here's a container. This is a really good size. And there's plastic on the lid right now, but it just latches down on all four sides. And then here is the smaller one right here. Super cute. This will be really good for my lunch this week because I'm doing salads, but I want to put the chicken in something separate to heat the chicken up so I can put the chicken in the little one and I can put the salad in the big one. You can always use this for like fruit, yogurt parfait, however you want to utilize it. That's cute. I kind of want to do something fun tonight. Like literally there's... Nothing to do, nobody hang out. I have content to film. Today was just has just not been like my typical Saturday, so I'm thrown off. Because I had Saturday school. Like I didn't even work out this morning. So I'm like upset about that. Tomorrow I'm trying to figure out how I want my day to go because I want to go in person to a church. But like there's an 845 session, a 1030, and a 1230, and I really want to try to aim for the 1030. That way I can work out in the morning at like six get ready everybody's like you need to get there early to get there early because this church is like really well known a lot of people go blah 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 but like it's up the street for me but i also don't want to be that person like i'm people are telling me get there early and i i i'm very hard-headed like i feel like i just know what's best for me um i can leave my house at 9 30 let me oh, maybe 9 15 and get there and still feel like I'll get a seat for the 10.30 service. So my goal is to leave the house at 9.15. That way I'll get there at 9, like 40-ish, maybe even earlier, and I can be in for the 10.30 session. People are like, you need to get there an hour early, so I'm a little panicked on the inside, but I know what's best for me. <laughs> maybe I should stop being so hard-headed. But yeah, so, and then um, I need to film some content. So I'm getting ready to organize that stuff while I cook my soup. But like tonight, I want to do something fun. Oh, there goes my battery. So we've got a battery that's like decently enough charged. <laughs> I can't believe I did that. All three batteries dead. Um, I ended up pouring myself a peach bellini. So cute. I tossed a strawberry in there. So cheers. Gotta have a cute drink while you're cooking. And I also added some turmeric and onion powder for flavor and I have a half an onion in here that I'm gonna add honestly just for fun necessarily know what benefit that the onion will add but it's in there now yeah we definitely need oh this looks actually really good I just added some turmeric because turmeric is an anti-inflammatory and we love that the wontons only need like two minutes so we're gonna save those for absolutely last hi Khalees. Hey to my vlog. 
Y'all, my wonton soup is done. Let me get a spoon. I feel like I should add some sesame seeds. We got the noodles in there, the onions, a little soup mix, the wontons. Ugh, I can't wait. I should add some soy sauce and some sesame seeds. We're on glass number two of our peach bellini. And I just use um, the um, Andre's Champagne Brut. And I am drinking a um, Skinny Girl Peach Bellini mix. And I actually got it at TJ Maxx. I've purchased and drank and ate a lot of the Skinny Girl products. But this is actually really good. So it's giving, it's giving brunch but y'all the wonton soup let me show y'all looks so good i'm so excited i ended up cooking 15 wontons all together so it's gonna be about three servings of soup so i figured that's five wontons per serving let's see how it tastes let's taste like the brothy mix Ooh, we've got the noodles we've got the five part soup some onions i've had these wontons they're good Let's see. I hope it tastes good. Because if not, I'm one angry little girl. It's pretty good. I probably use a little bit too much turmeric. It's not bad though. So yeah, so I'm gonna enjoy my wonton soup in here, the wontons that I put in. I'm gonna enjoy my wonton soup and watch some YouTube. It is, what time is it? 5.05, .05. I wanna do something, I don't wanna go out. I just wanna like, it's nice out when it's sunny and it's Saturday and it was, it's like, ugh, it's just a nice day. So we'll see if I do something. I kinda wanted to go to like Pont City and maybe do something there or whatever but walk the belt line go to the park but we'll see if not i'll just be in the house all night What a great song to start your Monday morning to. Y'all, my camera, I don't know if I got something scratched on it. In good spots. Okay, that's a little bit better. It is Sunday morning. It is 6.53 a.m. And I'm up. I'm dressed for the gym. You're going to do some gym prep with me. Y'all know I'm trying to get to that church early this morning, so I need to be on it. I've never worn this shirt before. I got this shirt from Halara. It was a part of a sponsorship around a year ago. What month are we in? September? Oh, October 1st. Actually, today's October 1st, happy October. Yeah, about a year ago. I've never actually worn it to work out in. It was a little bit too tight at first. It's got thumb holes. It was a little bit too tight at first around here. But, I mean, it is what it is. So, we're going to do some gym prep. So, first things first is pre-workout. How I do my pre-workout is real simple. If y'all follow me on Instagram, you've seen it in a reel before. I've done a lot of, like, get, get ready for the gym. Or, like, when I post my gym workout videos on Instagram, they end up having a little bit of, like, pre-workout or, like, pre-gym vibes. Get ready for the gym with me. But I don't think I've ever really done one on YouTube. So... I get my whatever shaker bottle I'm using. I have like five of these things. When I get ready to work out, I literally fill this thing all the way to the top. All the way to the tippy tippy top. Yep. And then these are the two things that we need. So I lately, for the last few months actually, have been drinking these Celsius packs um, as my workout drink, I cannot drink just water for one. And for two, some stuff is a little bit too like sugary tasting. I don't really like sugary 
tasting things unless it's a margarita. I used to split these in half, do half and half, but now I split them into thirds because I work out after work a lot and I don't want to have too much energy because um, then I have a hard time going to sleep. So into thirds, this is the last third of that pack. It ends up being a lot, like a lot, a lot. I did, I'm not gonna lie to you, put a little bit of C4 in it also, like a half a scoop of C4. This is new, this part is new. Maybe like a third of a scoop of C4. And I drink the C4 ripped pre-workout, strawberry lemonade kind. I used to get the C4 ripped sport, um, but this one is fine. I think it was the flavor, I don't know. The, the flavor of this one is really wonky, so I can't eat, I can't drink it by itself. And I only use C4 as my pre-workout dry scoop. So shake that up and then I take a half a scoop of my C4. And I know some of y'all do not like this. Some of y'all frown upon it. But I'm gonna keep doing it because I like it and I feel like it gives me that. I don't like drinking an entire cup of water before I go to the gym, like, cause now I just have liquid in my stomach. Mm -mm. So I take a half a scoop Now, <clears throat> if you're a dry scooper and you don't drink it down with this, that's barbaric. I don't know how people can just scoop and swallow. Like, it's literally like you're going to choke one day. And then I ran out of my hair, skin, and nails vitamins. But those will be coming in the mail today. I get them from Amazon because it's like 200 in a pack and it lasts me a very, very long time. Um, and that, I ordered them yesterday morning. Totally didn't realize I literally ate the last two Friday. So I didn't have any for yesterday. Or did I? No, I think I did eat them yesterday. But I knew I wouldn't have any for today because they're coming in later today. So that's that. So I'm already dressed. So like I said, I'm wearing this crop top from Halara. Let me back you guys up so you can see as much as you can. And just these black workout shorts. Um, this top has like a built-in bra, so I don't have another bra on. It's got pads in it and everything. And then just regular, regular black shorts. Y'all, I have not been working out the way I used to. Like, I just haven't. And I'm so disappointed in myself. But, like, it's so disappointing. I feel like all my little baby gains are going away. My, I'm, like, I just don't look shapely like I used to. It also could just be in my head, but I feel like I'm not as shapely as I was especially like in the summertime and in the spring, but we're gonna get back to it. So black shorts, I've got my knee cuffs on and it's early and it's chilly, so I'm gonna bring sweatpants. Right now I'm just gonna throw a little bit of makeup on. When I go to the gym, if I'm filming, so like on the weekend, I do wear a little teeny tiny bit of makeup. I literally just do spot correction, that's it. I don't do eyebrows, I don't do blush, I don't, do, I don't even do setting powder, literally just spot correction so that in my videos, I'm not looking like a chocolate cookie. did used to do like makeup for the gym like like not heavy makeup obviously but I used to do why does my light look blue why do I look blue just the light okay, I guess that's a little bit better um I used to do like makeup makeup for the gym like a little bit of concealer contour whatever in the summertime actually heavy when I was filming heavy in the summertime I would um, but now I just don't main and a lot of the time it's because like I'm gonna come right back here and put makeup on to film like I have I have to I have, oh my god y'all I'm stressed about what I have to do today I have to film two reels um, for this partnership I don't even know which out I think I do know which outfits I want to wear and then I need to come back here and film content for two oh my goodness y'all have to bear with me today next thing to do is get my workout in order 
and I use my own book. This is my 90 day nutrition and fitness tracker. This is for sale now on Amazon. Y'all need to be following me on Instagram because I'm telling you, you would have already seen the promo. Was that last week I posted it or the week before? I wanna say the week before I posted the promo for this. I'm so excited about this. So this is my baby. I created this fitness nutrition tracker on my own based on like other fitness nutrition tra trackers that I've used. Maybe I should put the TV on for some extra light. Y'all don't mind my wig back there. I thought I was gonna wear that this week. I washed it and everything Wednesday night. I spent my Wednesday night, I'm supposed to be in the gym on Wednesdays. I spent my Wednesday night getting this wig together because I thought I was gonna put it on, on Thursday and I didn't. At least she's clean, she's fresh. She's re literally ready to be popped on at any moment now. I've liked and didn't like about some. I kind of just took all those different ideas and put it into my own that works for me. So it's a 90 day book. So three sets of 30, there's weigh-ins and check-ins at every beginning, middle, and ending. There's even a section in the back for you to record some of your favorite meal preps. There's space for 10 breakfasts, 10 lunch, and 10 dinners. So today is Sunday, October 1st. All right, my challenge to myself for October is to get back to my five days in the gym. And what better way to start than on a Sunday? It's the first day of the month. Like, I don't know what has gotten into me, but like I've gotten so lazy. Like, I, like two weeks ago, I think I was actually the most consistent. I had like four days in the gym. But that is so pathetic. That is, then now it's like two. It's like I might, I might hit the gym twice in the week. Like last week, I only went Saturday and Tuesday. And that is, or Sunday, Saturday and Tuesday, it doesn't even count. That means I only went, because the week starts on, oh my God, that's just bad. Anyway, today, I think I really want to do a leg focused workout, but I might throw some arms in there because the videos I'm doing today, I need to make sure my arms look good, but I definitely want to do leg focused, like glute focused. So lower body and a little bit of arms. They said you got high as the sky. Up all night just dancing. Home. I hit you like, please come home to me. Come home to me. But you're not understanding. No. You gon' make me beg, make me plead, please. Wanted you to raise my mind. I got the keys. I just figured you could make time for me. I said you come here.
help me And you turn me on like a new Bugatti Now the things more you do Some you woulda love it if you coulda come true Make me smoke a spliff, have a drink me and yo Then me release a stress I have feel have it yo Sexy me see what bro Make me bend your own back in your bra and your shoes <clears throat> okay, we're back from the gym and we have literally no time to waste. I look crazy. I couldn't even do, I didn't even get to do cardio. Like, I didn't get to get on a cardio machine today because I, oh my, God. my workout was longer than I thought it was going to be. So I'm like dizzy. Like, I was like rushing, but I did jumping jacks in between everything. Oh, I should have done some at the end. So that I was getting some type of cardio in and I did like hit style workout today. Right now I'm about to add creatine. So I usually just take whatever's left over of my drink from my, when I worked out. Fill to 10 and then one scoop of creatine. I lost the actual scoop that goes with this. So I just stuck a one, a half a teaspoon scoop in here. Sometimes I pile it over just a little bit more. I just be doing whatever y'all. Yeah, basically I'm rushing now because it's 8. 40 and I low-key high-key want it to leave by 9.15. Um, so we'll see. Shake, shake, shake. Shake, shake, shake. So yes, yeah, so I'm going to be rushing, rushing, rushing. So I'm not beginning the shower. I put up a poll on my Instagram because I wanted to put in that U part wig, the curly one, but that I had on yesterday. But I don't think, I just, I just don't know. I think I'm just going to do my own hair. And my cute little curly updo. So let me see what the poll on Instagram says. All the votes say up. So I'm feeling up today also. So up it is. I'm about to get in the shower, get dressed. I'll talk to y'all when I talk to y'all. Definitely before I leave the house. Probably while I do makeup. But I'm going to get my praise and worship on um, while I'm getting ready. Drink my creatine water, hop in the shower. Hopefully I don't pass out in the shower because if you know, you know. I'm literally like shaking. So let's go. So I'm so upset because I wanted to wear a dress today. I have this cute dress that I bought um, from TJ Maxx a couple weeks ago. When I, it was like Saturday shenanigans. I posted a reel on Instagram. That's literally what I do. Um, from TJ Maxx all the way out and coming, first of all, which is far. And I haven't worn it yet because it's like a one it's like a regular dress. Like it's, I, I feel like it's too short to wear to school, to work. <clears throat> Which if it's too short to wear to work, it's probably too short to also wear to church. But I was going to try. I was going to attempt. And I took it out. Went to go try it on to see, actually check the length of it and see, you know, if it's if I can get away with it or not. And the stupid sensor, the anti-theft or theft, whatever, sensor is still on it. So now I'm like, what the heck? Because I bought it literally at least over, at least a month ago, at the minimum. At the minimum, I bought it a month ago. Maybe even longer. So no, I don't have the receipt. I don't even think I have the bag. I think when I, I, I was, I know I was holding on to it for a very long time. Oh, I, you know what? I do actually have content that I could show them to prove that I bought it. I was holding on to it for such a long time, the receipt, and then I was like, I'm not returning this. It's already been a long time. Like, if I don't wear it, it's just a loss, whatever. And now, you know, a lot of times if you bring something back with the sensor on it, but what's crazy is I don't even think the sensor went off when I left the store. Then again, who knows? It was so long ago. So I can't wear it. Honestly, though, the intent was to wear this outfit. This is what I wore or was going to wear yesterday. To the conference um well, i did wear it, actually i just didn't go into the conference so i came home and took it right off and said yep we can wear it today to church so maybe that was a sign that to confirm that yes the dress was too short and my hair is a little bit more wet than i typically like it to be i like it to be a little bit more dry when i do this this ponytail this like top bun but i mean it's gonna have to do like it just usually a little bit more dry I was supposed to bring my outfits with me so I can just go and do content after but I'm gonna have to stop at home because I'm just not prepared oh my goodness
I'm going to head out and I will talk to you guys later, probably after church or whatever the case may be. But not right now because I'm short on time. Bye. Okay, one, hopefully y'all can see me. And two, hopefully the camera is focused on your girl. Um, so I'm just leaving the church for the first time. And honestly, y'all, it was so great. The experience, the praise and worship, the word, the people, the community, the, the everything about it. Amazing. It was a guest pastor though um, because the lead pastor was at the Jersey location. They were doing a pinning. Uh, it was the end of their men's men's conference weekend so they had, he had, had to be up there for a pinning but the guest pastor was great so I don't really have much to share about the lead pastor because I don't know. So next week I'll, I'll be excited to experience the lead pastor. Besides the word, let me just, let me just, about the atmosphere. The praise and worship team, beautiful. I mean, the, everybody is beautiful. The men and women on the praise and worship team are beautiful. The, 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 the worship session was amazing. Like, everything was amazing. I don't have any, any other word besides amazing. The word was exactly what I needed to hear. Exactly what... It's, it's so crazy because... It's so crazy because the word... Um, so I downloaded this app the other day. Let me let me give y'all some background. I downloaded this app called Bless. It's a blue um, blue app with a B and a cross, and it's called Blessed. And there's prayers for every morning and every night. Um, it's different, and it's like you know by calendar days or whatever. So it's really good. It's really on track. And the night prayer last night. So the night prayer was the morning prayer. It was a night prayer. The night pick prayer, this this morning prayer, was talking about, um, you know, experiencing God and his riches and grace over our life and making sure that we are not being, being, showing covet, covet, coveted, covet, covetousness. That's a tricky word to say. Not showing covetousness. And honestly and truthfully, I have never heard that word before in my all of my 27 years of life. 27 and a half years of life. So I looked it up because I, I needed to understand, to really understand the prayer. I, I needed to make sure that I understood what that word meant. And so if you're like me and you don't know what that word means, it basically means um, jealousy or envy for what somebody else has. So that was the morning prayer this morning. And that's kind of where the direction that the word was going in um, based on based on some verses from the book of Genesis and it was it's just it's just like still building a I'm building for myself a foundation of faith um, because I I didn't grow up with one we would go to church every now and again and go on like Easter and stuff like that but it was not like a weekly thing this was not it was not something that we did we were not churchgoers avid churchgoers so went through the years through college especially and moving to Atlanta I'm have been working to build that faith and um, the relationship with Jesus that I long for and when things just align like that the prayer and the word and the sermon and want, I've been wanting to find a home church a church home for a very long time oh my gosh I can't believe me right now but when things align and match up like that, as the prayer and the word did this morning, it just confirms in me and affirms in me that Jesus is hearing me. Jesus believes in me and, and the relationship that I'm longing for. Um, Jesus is there. Basically, what I'm trying to say is Jesus is there. Jesus hears me. Y'all get what I'm trying to say because I'm about to become a mess and I have to keep the same makeup on because I have content to film. I'm not trying to have to, to have to touch anything up too crazy. It was really, really great, long story short. So I'm excited to go back next week. 
Um, I still took notes on my phone as I do when I'm home streaming the church service. I still took notes on my phone because I think it's super important. One, for me to stay focused and, and remember throughout the week the word that I heard. I made it in time. I didn't tell you guys. I got there at probably like nah. Actually, I got there at 10 o'clock. Exactly at 10 o'clock. And um, the lobby is huge. People are just like waiting in the lobby. The first session, the 845 session, was like finishing letting out um, when I got there. And so we had to wait in the lobby. I mean, packed. I mean, like waiting like it's Black Friday. Like <laughs> just, I was like, people were not kidding when they said you need to get here early. So I had a really good seat actually. And I understand now why they say get there early and also um, why there's three services because it's not very big on the inside. It's a pretty well-known church in the sense of that as far as big, but it's not like spatially very large. So yeah, so I'll be back next week. Right now I'm headed home. All right, I'm gonna talk to y'all later. I have content to film and I need to get where I need to be on time. Oh my lanta. All right, y'all. See you later. Oh, my goodness. Y'all, I'm so exhausted. It is like 6, 5.57 on Sunday night, and I have been ripping, running, roaring. But for the most part, everything is done that needs needed to get done today. So I went to church this morning. I told you guys how church was amazing. Then I ran home, grabbed the three outfits I wanted to do for um, content, and filmed those already posted one follow your girl on instagram yes that it's that too if you're not following me already because that content is fire like i do need to i just got home actually um after we filmed we went and got something to eat so that was good because i was literally shaking hadn't eaten anything and besides a protein shake and was filming and the protein shake was at like 9 45 and was filming 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 and it's hot out the sun was out so it was just all odds were definitely stacked against me i was like shaking like hot needed to eat my clothes are already set we only have three days this week and one of them is a jeans day and i've already i have three ironed outfits so i'm gucci there i guess this is going to be the end of the vlog i know it was quick short simple sweet to the point but that's kind of it for this weekend this is the end of the vlog thank you guys so much for spending a few days with me this weekend i feel like it was kind of chaotic and all over the place but i really enjoyed this weekend a lot even though i was busy 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 on go yesterday and today and even friday it was still just a really good much needed weekend so Make sure you follow your girl on Instagram, yes, it's that T. Purchase my fitness and nutrition tracker if you are a gym babe or bro, or if you know a gym babe or bro, purchase it. It's only $12.99, and the link is in my bio on Instagram, and I will also put the link down in this description box for easy access. And yeah, that's really all I have for you guys. Have an amazing, it's Sunday, so have an, I don't know when you guys will see this because I don't know when I'm going to get this edited and posted, but have an amazing week if it is early in the week when you're seeing this. If not, have an amazing rest of your week and next week, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye for lifers. She got her own thing. That's why I love her. Missing the ending.